welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cameron and I own a crochet boutique called Cameron's Cute Creations. And in today's vlog, you are gonna come with me. We're going to go up to a pumpkin patch where a craft show event is going on. We're gonna pop up a booth and we are going to sell our crochet items. I'm so excited. I've got amigurumi and plushies. I've got wearables and I just can't wait to experience this show with you, meet a ton of new customers and make a lot of sales. So I'm really looking forward to it. So I did this exact same show last week and actually, and I learned a lot. In the morning, it was super busy. So this week, we're gonna try to get there a little bit earlier than we did last week. Even though the event doesn't technically start until 11, we're gonna try to get there around 10 to get set up by hopefully 10 30 10 45 and try to make some of those early sales last week i showed up too late and i kind of missed out on making some of those early shopper sales so we will see if that makes a difference in my sales this week. Also, I'm gonna be playing around with my displays this week, shifting some things around from last week, and just being a little bit more mindful about how I'm displaying each item. Now that I know what was selling really well for me this week, I can kind of pinpoint and highlight different products that I want to sell more of using my display. So I'm super excited to kind of show you some of those behind the scenes and tips and tricks as far as displaying your work at craft shows in today's vlog. And as always, be sure to wait until the end of today's vlog as well, because I will be sharing how the event went, the things that went well, and the things that maybe didn't go as well, and how you can learn from that so that you can get a lot out of this video and learn some things for setting up at your craft shows as well. So first things first, we're going to go grab a coffee on the way. My husband is coming with me today to help set up. We're actually going to load everything in his truck today and then we're gonna get up to the venue and get all set up and like I said I'm gonna be sharing tons of tips and tricks for your display today and kind of my thought process behind displaying my pieces at a show and how that can convert to more sales as well so I'm super looking forward to it without further ado let's go load the cars and get all set up <laughs> truck here we're gonna load it and then go get our coffee to get the day started don't worry I drink decaf do you think I already have too much energy <laughs> Peyton did my outfit today or he helped me with it <laughs> are you proud of this do you think I look cute you dressed like I did when I was a teacher <laughs> when he was a teacher I feel like a teacher today <laughs> all packed. Now we just gotta go grab our display stuff. We are gonna go grab some coffee and then go grab the rest of my inventory. Well, no, my inventory is loaded in Peyton's truck right now, but my display stuff is at my parents' garage. <laughs> so we gotta run by my parents before we go to the venue. But we are about 30 minutes ahead of schedule today. How are you feeling? It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> ice decaf latte with honey and almond milk, please. Okay, anything else? Can I do a surprise Red Bull 24 ounce? Yeah, it's not everything. Yep, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yes. I 
I love the little notes on the lid. Like, they're so cute. It's like why I love coming here so much. <laughs> I'm like, I just live my day off of what this says. I'm like, okay, it says be fully present. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. My coffee says be fully present. Mine says you are worth it. Peyton says you are worth it. Do you feel worth it? Yeah. <laughs> Riding passenger princess, Peyton is driving. <laughs> I've got my crochet in hand. I'm working on baby mittens right now that match my baby beanies that I sell. And I haven't put any of these out this year, but I have sold them in the past. And if you're interested, this pattern is from the turtle trunk and it's a free pattern. It, it matches really cute with my beanie patterns and my beanie patterns are for sale on my website, but I will link patterns down below in the description box for your convenience throughout this video. But that is what I'm working on. I just wanted to chat about what I'm looking forward to to this event and kind of what I'm nervous about for this season, to be honest. I feel like I was really confident a couple weeks ago. If you watched my vlog where I went through all of my inventory, I had a lot of stuff and I was feeling really good about it. And this is like totally a good problem to have and I shouldn't be complaining, but the last couple weeks that I've set up and done shows, I have sold a lot and so now it feels like some of those best-selling items are really limited and really low already and I have this show I have two shows next weekend and then I have another show the following week and then I have about a month break until I have a huge three-day Christmas show which is like really really big and I need a lot of inventory for it and the fee was really expensive so I really need to make sure I'm bringing enough to make money at this show so I'm just a little nervous I feel like I don't have a lot of time throughout my week to prep as much as I'd like and it's just been kind of honestly a little bit frustrating and I've been hard on myself and so I just kind of wanted to share this as a reminder that we are only one person in our business and we can only physically make so many items and what we do is so cool that we're making these one at a time it makes them so much more special and our customers really do see that and it's worth it to them and that's what keeps me going like seeing my happy customers and I'm excited to meet new people today and see past customers returning customers as well as meet new customers because that really is what motivates me to keep showing up and working hard in my business because if it weren't for that oh man small businesses are no joke man it's a, it's a lot of work so I'm looking forward to that but I am a little bit nervous about my current inventory uh, you will see when we set up kind of what it looks like right now um, but yeah I'm definitely running low on my chickens which were selling like crazy last week like insane <laughs> and I'm running really low on them I have some ghosts and some bees left but nowhere near the amount that I would ideally like to have but again we just got to remind ourselves that we're not Amazon we're not this huge retail store with factories and thousands of workers like it's only us and so this is just my reminder for you as well to be happy with what it is that you do have and just enjoy the process enjoy meeting new customers and uh, just do the best with what you have because here's the thing at every show every single show no matter what my inventory there's always something that I feel like I'm lacking whether it's oh, I don't have enough ghosts or oh, I don't have enough of this beanie in this specific color in this size you know there's always something so I think we just have to know overcome that and just look at everything and I want you to take, take a second and look at the current inventory you have and be like yeah I did that I did that just me and be proud of it Peyton do you have any thoughts you guys are awesome <laughs> am I awesome yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got everything back here and what's this called? Like the inside. Cab. The cab. We got this in the cab, that in the, what's the back called? The bed. The bed. <laughs> all that in the bed and we're about to head up to the venue, get all set up. We are gonna bring this dolly today. This is this one right here. It's, well, it's actually a hand truck and you can turn it into a dolly, all sorts of things. I'm gonna bring this today. We didn't bring it last week and we're gonna see if we can utilize it. If not, it's fine. But 
it would be nice to transport more things at once if it does work like on the gravel and the grass and stuff. But anyways, let's head up to the venue. <laughs> okay, let's go. the tables on there these birds are really chirping this morning oh we need a trailer like that look how cute that is that would be so cute to get something like that okay should we put more flat stuff in there this is really getting loaded up is it even gonna work <laughs> is that working <laughs> there we go And this is what I'm bringing. <gasps> it's a fail. <sighs> All right, you were going too hardcore off road. <laughs> Those are tiny. Um, is this even like helpful? <laughs> Try that. Okay, it's not good off road. <laughs> like this wall. I think I'll have a vendor neighbor right there too. I might actually scoot all this over and we can put the sign like up in that corner or that corner's fine. Peyton adding the beautiful flo <laughs> floral. There we go. And I'll be back here. process behind the display. I'm doing a Z setup. So I got one table out here and these things were selling really well for me last week. So baby stuff, plushies, and my adult stuff, I kind of snuck behind here because it's still really warm and those weren't selling well for me last week. So those are back there. If people want them, they're back here. So if you come around this corner, <laughs> got more plushies, different sizes here. And then this is all of my pumpkins, more plushies kind of scattered in here. Back here, headbands, adult sizes. I feel like it's looking kind of rough back here. I feel like, I feel like it's looking a little sparse, but that's okay, because it's back here. I have my mirror up here in case anybody wants to try anything on. People really love the mirror. So if you don't have a mirror in your setup, definitely get one. <laughs> then I've got the pegboard. We were. Kind of thinking we couldn't put the pegboard out, but it fit fine right here. So got scrunchies, keychains, little bows. These things weren't selling crazy hot for me last week, and so that's why I kind of tucked them back here. They'll still sell for me back here, but I wanted to put things that were doing well for me last week right out the front and hopefully sell more of them this week. Here's my like, behind the scenes area. I'll be sitting most of the time. You can still see me. And then I can stand up. I got all my checkout equipment back here. I've got my crochet back here. I've got to do some tagging this morning. Probably have like 15 minutes until it officially starts. But yeah, just gonna hang out and get started. Hi, how's it going? 
today good this weather is just like I can't believe it it's so perfect yeah are you looking at the chickens thank you <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> Isn't that like a soft garn? I love using this stuff. Yeah. So it's been about an hour. It's about noon. And I'm going to eat my lunch, which is just a bag of random food, like a bar, a banana. Peyton packed me my lunch, put popcorn in there. So I'm going to snack on this back here. It's, it's been a pretty good first hour, hour and a half. Um, technically started at 11, but people were shopping at 1030. So anyways, I'm just going to hang out and keep, keep selling my stuff. That might be my last white chicken. I think it might be. The chickens, man, I brought so many last weekend and they were like all are gone. I'm like, these are like the last little bit. I only have four chickens left and they're all the same color. So I'm wondering if this color just isn't a popular one or maybe I just had a ton of them, but all like my speckled chickens are gone. And I'm a little nervous because I need to be prepping more chickens, probably like honestly this week for next weekend. Cause I, again, only have four left. So anyways, that's a good problem to have. I'm glad they're, they're selling. Perfect. Do you want a bag? Uh, yeah, what that'd be size great. Is that? Sorry. It's a, it's like a three to six month. This is so cute. I know, right? I wish I had bigger sizes right now. Yeah, she works. Sure. Yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, we'll just do that then. No, you're good. Here, I'll give you my card too. Whenever she does grow, we can do bigger sizes. Yeah. Like the chickens. The ghosts, I know. They're for they're for people. It's just my logo's my dog. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Get you two back here. Do you want a little bag? Okay. Do you have a card? Yeah, I'll throw it in there too. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one. I love the ear ones. Yeah. Like little bears. Yeah, of course. Do the chickens. <laughs> oh, we got, oh golly, no, you're, so good, you're good. We have about an hour and a half left and it is pretty slow. It's really slowed down a lot, but I'm hoping that I can make at least a few more sales. Some of my best sellers are getting kind of low and getting down there. So I might need to be restocking before my next market's coming up. But I just wanted to remind you that this is a really good time to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, just because I do have quite a few more market vlogs coming up and I can't wait to share more behind the scenes with you. I've got customers walking up, but make sure to subscribe. It's five o'clock, it's time to tear down. Peyton's here to help me. We kind of have to do it in a rush because we have church group and I also need to do dinner somewhere. So it's gonna be like the quickest tear down of our life. Let's do it.
actually the day after my show, we had to rush to a church group we're in right after my show was over. We didn't even get to go home first. We had all of the stuff in the truck and we had to unload later in the night. It was a long day, okay? And I'm just really glad to be back home and kind of debrief with you and talk about what went well during the show and also some of the things that I wish I did differently. And we're gonna go over that and yeah, I'm excited to hang out and talk about how it went. So first thing, when we got there, we tried using my hand truck. We got this pink hand truck in, I don't know, a few months ago. I've used it for indoor shows, works fantastic but we were setting up on a farm and the wheels are like so little in the front and it was not working out for us. Literally all the stuff fell off of it multiple times trying to load stuff to our actual space at the event. So the hand truck is cool for indoor shows or on smooth roads, but as far as on a farm it was not working out for us. But what we ended up doing was some other vendors were actually pulling up kind of around a different way than we normally have at this venue. And we ended up being able to park way closer. So it was way easier for us to just unload right there. And we didn't even need the hand truck after we figured out that hack. But anyways, uh, if you're looking to get one of these hand trucks, they can be helpful, but definitely not uh, farm friendly. <laughs> Another thing that surprised me about this event, well, not really, because this is usually how it works. Last weekend at the same venue, it was a little different where it was really, really busy in the morning and slow in the afternoon. This week, it was more just steady throughout, like steady traffic, I was making sales. The last hour or two was so slow for me. Like seriously, so boring. I was getting bored at my booth crocheting that I actually had Peyton watch my booth that last hour and I walked around and I may have done a little bit of shopping at other booths, but <laughs> that was how slow it was. He did end up making a couple sales at my, at my booth. I mean, maybe like two or three sales, but it was just very, very dead uh, as far as traffic went. And yeah, it just really slowed down, which it's kind of a bummer because when you're at an event, you kind of want it to be busy the whole time, but sometimes there's slow periods and we just kind of have to deal with that as vendors, right? There's some things that we can do to kind of help make the time go by faster, or at least feel like what we're doing is worth it, right? When we're there and it's a little bit slower, there's not a lot of customers to talk to. Uh, one is bring your crochet to work on because you can be restocking products while sitting there at your booth and you know, if people aren't coming up and you're not checking people out every two seconds, then you have time to sit down and, and work on some projects. And that's what I was doing. I was crocheting some beanies, trying to restock some of my best sellers. And I also was taking some social media pictures for Instagram and things like that, just to try to make the time go by a little bit quicker at the end. But as far as best sellers go and the items that weren't selling as well for me during this show, um, my display that we did with having those things that I thought were gonna sell really well for me up front and the things that weren't selling well back helped a lot. Meaning the things that I put out front sold so much more than the things that were kind of tucked away in the back. Now I did sell a few adult things. I don't think I sold any adult beanies though, just a couple adult headbands. But other than that, it was all my baby stuff and plushies and my pumpkins were doing really well, which was part of the setup where I was up front and then kind of the side, but in the back, I mean, really, rarely things were selling in the back, but rarely were people walking all the way back there as well. I did sell a couple things from my pegboard, which I am glad I put the pegboard out and kind of figured out a way to keep that in the setup just because I was thinking about just not doing the pegboard since last week, my $5 items weren't selling that well and I didn't know if it would take up too much space in my booth, but I did end up selling some of those items actually more so than things like the adult beanies. So I was happy to sell some scrunchies and some keychains, but the main best sellers were chickens. I only have four of them left and this is supposed to last me like three more markets. So I'm gonna have to like panic prep chickens this week <laughs> for my next markets. I actually have two markets coming up this weekend, one on Saturday and one on Sunday which I will be vlogging by the way. So if you're not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of my future vlogs coming up. Chickens were selling like hotcakes. 
My bees were selling really well this week. My ghosts were killing it this week. I sold a lot of pumpkins, but mostly my little mini pumpkins, which I do have a free tutorial for, by the way, on my YouTube channel that I will link down below for you. If you wanna check these out and sell them at your shows as well, they whip up in under 15 minutes and I sell them for $5 each. And like I said, those were selling like crazy for me as well. And my baby hats. My newborn and baby hats were selling like crazy up there. I actually did something kind of strategic this time that I didn't do last weekend where I put two of each color out of every beanie. So for example, for the baby beanies, I had two gray, two navy, and two pink sitting out. And as they sold, I would restock from under my tables. Like I had extra pink that I would put out again instead of putting out like 10 pink beanies all at once, just because it's a shopping thing where if you see there's a lot left, your mind goes, oh, I'll come back later. They'll still be there. And a lot of the times your customers just forget to come back and shop with what they wanted to grab in the first place. And so what I did this week is I just put two out of each color. And I think that helped my sales so much, but I will say I had a couple moments where I totally forgot to restock and I think I may have missed out on some sales because I didn't have those colors available on my table and I just totally forgot to like put those colors back up on my table. So it's definitely a new strategy that I'm kind of playing around with. I've done in the past a little bit, but trying to do that more with my wearables. As far as my plushies go, I put most of them out and like I said, they all did really well. But all in all, it was a super awesome event. It was really successful and I'm really looking forward to restocking some of those bestsellers and showing up again next week. But until I see you in next week's video, I would love to keep hanging out with you here on YouTube in this market vlog right here. Bye!